Jack. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I wish I had different news for you. Nothing's changed? No. Based on these results, Jack really doesn't have very much longer. What else is new? What? You really came in here expecting some sort of miracle? How much longer? I can't be specific here. Maybe three to six months. If the degeneration doesn't accelerate. Honestly, it really is a miracle that Jack's made it this far. We all know this. Most kids with this disease don't make it to 10, and here it is, his 27th birthday. And we all know that our kid stopped being a kid the day he came here. 27? Jack went from 7 to 70 when he arrived for treatment. When are you going to stop jerking us around? He isn't getting any better. He's never going to get any better. He isn't getting any worse either, Mr. Hill. Every moment is truly a gift from God. Yeah. Jack, you can only grow so much inside a shell. I'm not trying to grow. Exactly, you're dying. And that sucks ass. But why waste your remaining time? That's worse than dying. If you're going to waste your life moping around, then why not just drop dead right this second? cake gotten any better? No. Cake's the same as last year's, as every year. Well then, I'm glad we're late. Yeah. Jackie, we're so sorry about Tim. The ceremony was beautiful. I bet. Call us if you need any. So they took you to Fenway, huh? Yeah, man. And they won. Nah, you should have seen it. The stadium was packed. All I needed was a beer and it would have been perfect. I can't believe it. Well, believe it. Man, this whole dying thing is uh, pretty sweet. Yeah, it's real sweet the way they buy you crap and send you places. But don't forget, you're still dying. Actually, Jack, I'm living. You should try it sometime. Hey, I had a life before having to come in these places. Yeah, but you're too busy clinging to that instead of making something of what you've got. Look around you. In your dreams, you're still a kid. Dead man. Dead man walking. But you ain't walking now. Come on, guy, get up. Mm -mm. Oh, not today, huh? All right, well, the doctor would like to see you. Or would you rather she came to you? No, I'll go to her. All right. Hey, you okay? You need anything? Yeah, a change of scenery. What? You're getting tired of my handsome-looking face already? All right, partner. Got to go. Take care. I'll see you. I've been meaning to talk with you, Jack. You said Tim had more time. I'm sorry, Jack. If I had told you the truth, 
Would you have felt any better about it? Well, at least I could have said goodbye. <sighs> I'm late for an appointment. Listen, I'll stop by later. We could talk this over. I'm a little bit late. I I'm sorry. We really need to discuss your test results. Jack, what can I say? They don't look good. You and I both know you don't have the strength to last much longer. Certainly, Certainly you, you have exceeded, exceeded everyone's, everyone's expectations, expectations at, at this point. point. So really, there's no way of knowing how much time you might actually have left. Jack, you're an adult. It is my job to make you aware of the facts concerning your health. This isn't anyone's fault. It's my birthday, Dr. Robbins. I like to be alone. I win again. Don't get too proud, kid. This isn't my game. You say that about every game, but what game are you good at? Listen, kid, don't ask me things that I can't answer. I'd really like to go home. I know, Jack. I want you to go home, too. But it's not something we have a say in. Besides, if you were at home, you wouldn't get to kick my ass at Checkers and Candyland and Scrabble and that angry hippo game you like so much. Angry hippos. It's hungry, hungry hippos. You never get that right. Wake up, Jack. You have a visitor. Sister, I mean, Leona, right? I'm Jack. He was my best friend. Uh-huh. He talked a lot about you. He did? Yeah. He did. We hadn't seen each other that much since I moved with my mom. Yeah. I would have noticed you around here. Um, maybe you can help me. There's the picture I think I might be missing. Have you seen a photo that was torn and taped together? You mean this one? Yep. Jack? Yeah? What did he say? I mean, about me. Um, just the usual stuff, I guess. Oh. You know, favorite recipes, embarrassing family secrets. Secrets, right. Well, there was this letter one time. Um, who was it? Brian. A letter he never got. No! Oh, to feel your <laughs> lips against mine. Divine, divine, divine. Give me a break. I was 14. I can't believe he read that to you. Actually cheered us up a lot on a bad day. I bet. So you guys must have been pretty close. Roomies for six years. The last time we actually saw each other, we were too young. So, what was he like? He made this place better. I remember one time, Tim, he, um, he took one of those huge CPR dummies and rigged it up with this, like, huge iron type of structure. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> well, I don't draw as much as I paint. Actually, I'm in the middle of my first year at UHART. Wow, UHART. That's pretty cool. Yeah.
You think I'm a lousy sister, don't you? No, why would I think that? Come on. I'm going to school in the same state. I never even bothered to visit my dying brother. Christ, I haven't even written him in like two years. It just, it's just been too long. It's okay, Leona. I never heard him once say one bad word about you. Well, that just makes it all the worse. That's why they sent me, you know. Idiots. <laughs> I guess they figured that I barely knew him and it'd be easier if I just came and got his stuff. That I couldn't possibly be as upset as they are. <sighs> oh my God. Shit. I can't believe myself. I'm sitting here feeling sorry for myself in front of you. And you're no better off than Tim. No. No, actually, I should be leaving in a couple months. For real? Yeah, I just heard the news today. Oh my God, that's so good for you. Yeah, I can um, hardly believe it myself. Hi, Jack. I brought some food for you and your lady friend. Oh, thank you. You know what would go great with this meal? Some champagne. Coming right up, madam. Well, I guess we're officially on a date. Seems that way. Wow. This stuff tastes better than it looks. Does it? Yeah. Are you going to eat that? Maybe it's just the day. Yeah, I could go for some real food. You want to order out? Yeah. How about we go out? Are you even allowed to leave? Not exactly, but I figure I'm almost out of here. What could one day hurt? A day now? I thought we were just talking dinner. Well, if we're going to break the rules, we might as well make it worth it. You have a point, but aren't people going to be looking for you? And they'll find me when we get back. It's no big deal. Come on. <laughs> Where's your name tag? Those aren't regulation shoes. Where are your shoes? You must be one of Gail's. Stay put. Uh, Paige Gale.
my purse back there. Go back and get it. After all that, that's not too bright. Maybe I can come back tomorrow without my wig on. They probably wouldn't recognize me, right? Right. That'll work. Where to? Well, first, we need to get you some clothes. Christ, you look like a PGA groupie. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is this place? It's not so much a place as it is a separate, unique dimension. Come on, we're burning daylight. Is it safe to wear these with?